Okay, so question two. Give us a set, and they ask us, first of all, what is the definition of linear independence? Oh, that's, a, that's got nothing to do with the set there. Definition of linear independence, okay, it's just like a repeat what you know question. So uh, linear independence, it's like, you know, a set is linearly independent um, it means that if you have a linear combination of vectors oh, need to number those equal to the zero vector then all the scalars are zero okay that's the definition of linear independence, or one definition of it at least. Okay, 2.2. Find a Cartesian equation that describes the set S, the set generated by S. Okay, so we're going to set up a linear combination of those three things, those three vectors, set it equal to xyz, and then we're going to row, do row reduction and see what happens. Oh, one of the rows will come to zero, we'll get a little Cartesian equation, I expect. Okay, so we need to take the linear combination of those three vectors, so it'll be like a times the first vector plus b times the second vector plus c times the third vector equals the vector x, y, z. What are the vectors? 1, 2, minus 1. And then 2, 5, 0. And then minus 4, minus 11, minus 2. Minus 4, minus 11, minus 2. Okay, let's just check that. 1, 2, minus 1. 1, 2, minus 1. 2, 5, 0. 2, 5, 0. Minus 4, minus 11, minus 2. Minus 4, minus 11, minus 2. Yes. Okay, so we're going to have to just reduce this. So, of course, it's this that equation, that linear combination is the same as this matrix equation. matrix with the columns seeing those vectors times the vector ABC equals the vector XYZ. Gauss reduction. Uh, we can do row 2 minus 2 times row 1 and we can do row 3 plus row 1. Okay. And that's going to give us first row the same of course. 1, 2, minus 4. Second row 0. Uh, 5 minus 4 is 1. Minus 11 plus 8 is minus 3. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. Ah, those rows are multiple to each other. Cool. A, B, C equals... Uh, now, here we have uh, row 2 minus 2 times row 1, so we have Y minus 2X, and row 3 plus row 1, so Z... Ah, right, 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 around. X plus Z. And then there's X's in the first row still. So now if we do... If we do row 3 minus 2 times row 2, that'll give us a row of zeros and a Cartesian equation. It'll be saying that x plus, oh, sorry. It'll be saying that x plus z minus 2y plus 4x equals 0, which is the same as 5x minus 2y plus z equals 0. That's a Cartesian equation. Uh, mm -hmm. Just just check it. The vectors were 1, 2, minus 1. So do they sub 1, 2, minus 1 to that Cartesian equation? Is it satisfied? Uh, we get 5 minus 4 plus... Oh, it's a z, not a 2 there. 5 minus 4 plus... No, 5 minus 4 minus 1, yes, 0. We get 10 minus... Second vector, we get 10 minus 10, yes. Third vector, we get minus... Oh, write this one down. We get minus 20 plus 22, plus 2, yeah, that's 0. Cool. So that's right. Our condition equation is correct. The next question then was, is the set S LD, or is it set, is the set S linearly, linearly dependent or independent? It's dependent because there's this Cartesian equation. Right? Yes, it's dependent because it's, it's, not, a, it's not all of our three. There's three vectors, it's not all of our three. So we can definitely say it's dependent. 
um, because the space it generates is has dimension two because it's a plane. So let's see. So it's dependent. Don't you know what? Yeah. I'm not saying it's dependent because the, 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 we're gonna if we do that Gauss reduction. We're gonna pivot. I mean, we're gonna have to do that Gauss reduction. We're gonna have to justify in two point four. We're gonna have to provide a basis. So we're gonna have to choose the two ones, two vectors that are independent from that. So let me first put here. It's linearly dependent. This set. Okay. S is linearly dependent. Okay. And that's why. Well, this Gauss reduction now. Um, it comes it's come to 1, 2, minus 4, 0, 1, minus 3, 0, 0, 0, A, B, C equals X, oh, what's that, that last thing is, X, oh, I know what it is, it's, it's been weird, it's 5X minus 2Y plus Z, um, X, Y minus 2X. Oh, we don't even need that, because if we're trying to talk about dependence or independence, this thing on the left, right could just be the zero vector. Okay. Mm, okay. And that, so this equation comes from 2.2. 2. 2. 2. Yeah, 2.2. So that equation from 2.2... shows what it shows that it shows that that the third vector is a linear combination of the first two vectors right um, so how can I say that so the third vector is minus 4 minus 11 minus 2 minus 4 minus 11 minus 2 so I could say that it's it's in the span of the first, first two vectors so the set generated by those first two vectors. What are those first two vectors? They were 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay. So that and that's why this set S is linearly dependent. Okay. Um now 2.4 was provided basis for S and basis of elements of S. Okay, so it's those those two vectors. So I could just uh, let me just say this. 2.4 is that this this thing is a basis. Uh, I hope I can write that. Um, 2.4 is that that's a basis. Those two vectors. Okay. That's all.